Hey guys, welcome. Today we are going to be making black bean corn salsa. And these are the things that we're going to be preparing today. So let's get to it. Okay everybody, for our salsa today, we are going to need a can of black beans. You will need two ears of corn, or you can sub that for one can of corn. One medium tomato, one jalapeno, a half of a red onion, two tablespoons of cilantro. And for our dressing, we will need a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, a quarter cup of fresh lime juice, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of cumin, a half a teaspoon of salt, and one eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. We are gonna start off with our fresh corn. I chose to do fresh corn because my mom taught me um, a method of cooking it in the husk. It's super simple, it's easy, it's quick. We're gonna go ahead and do two ears of corn. We're gonna go ahead and do it for five minutes. All right, our corn is now done, so we're going to remove it. It will be hot, so my tip is to hold it by the end. And let's go ahead to our cutting board. Okay, so now that our corn is finished, what we're gonna do is you're gonna wanna cut the bottom off and kind of feel where the end of your kernel or the kernel's end, and kind of go a half an inch up from there. You're gonna wanna make a cut here and just go straight down. It will be a little difficult, so use your muscles. All right, we cut our end off. We're gonna stand it up, and you just squeeze it out. Ta-da! Now, if yours doesn't do that, if it doesn't come out easy like that, go ahead and pop it into the microwave for another one to two minutes and it will slide out just like this. And the, the pretty part of this is we have a clean, there's no corn hairs, it is just a beautiful steamed piece of corn. So we'll go ahead and do our second one. Again, just find your end of the kernel and cut about a half, a, half an inch up. Stand it up and just squeeze at the top. And it should come right on out. And then all the hairs and all of that are stuck in here and you can dispose of it and you are left with beautiful corn. All right, we're gonna go ahead and <clears throat> cut the kernels off of our corn. And you just start off at the top and run your knife through it. So we just need a half of this onion. So I am going to cut it from root to tip in half. Mind your fingers. We'll put that other half over there. And then I'm going to cut the root and the tip off. So the reason we cut the ends off of this is because this is really woody and this is where it grows. So we don't want that in our food. And this is the papery side. So we want a good clean cut that leaves us looking like that. See, we wanna eat this, not this. All we're gonna do is peel this outside portion. Isn't it beautiful? Now we are going to go ahead and slice our onion. And we wanna do probably about quarter inch slices. You're just going to cut straight down. Careful of your fingers. Tuck them in. These don't have to be absolutely perfect because we're going to dice them. But I want you to make these slices because I have a tip. Okay, so now that this is cut, 
What I'm gonna do next is soak them. The reason we're going to soak these is because it takes the bitterness out of a cut onion, a raw onion. All right, so we are going to fill our bowl up with cold water. And we're gonna drop our onions in there. Just kind of loosely. All right, while our onions are soaking, we're gonna go ahead and cut up our bell pepper. We just need half of this. So I will go ahead and half it. And we wanna take out our seeds and membrane. And you do so by pulling that out. So after de-seeding it, we're gonna go ahead and cut it into slices. So. We are going to go ahead and chop these into bite-sized pieces about the size of a kernel of corn because we want everything in our salsa to be generally the same size. All right, so we are going to move on to our jalapeno pepper. I am going to actually use half of this jalapeno pepper because it is ginormous. If you want all the heat, go ahead, use the whole thing. I personally am just going to use half of it. So I'm just gonna cut it long ways. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my spoon here and scoop out all of the membrane and seeds. All right, now that we have our jalapeno chopped up, we're gonna go ahead and cut up our cilantro. Now, a lot of people like to pick each individual um, leaf off of the stem, but I find that the stem actually has really good flavor. So I am going to just bunch it up and make a cut. We'll save this for later. And I like to bunch it up here, make one cut here, and then chop. Watch your fingers. Sometimes you can't see them. This is why you always use the tuck method. And then just chop it up. We are gonna move on to our tomatoes and limes. And we're gonna go ahead and just cut these in half lengthwise. Next up, we will do our limes. And if you wanna give these a little roll, it releases the juices a little bit. And then we will juice those right into the bowl. All right, we'll go ahead and cut this other lime. I'm not sure if we'll need it. It's hard to tell how juicy a lime is gonna be until you squeeze it. So we just have these prepared and we will squeeze them directly into the bowl. All right, we'll go ahead and strain our onions that have been soaking. Give them a little shake. And bring them over to our cutting board. And we're gonna go ahead and dice these into small crazy pieces. So just get them as close as possible and run your knife through them. All right, we're gonna go ahead and strain our black beans. I got the no salt added version. You're straining because you want to get all of this thick bean juice out of it. And we're gonna go ahead and rinse them as well. We don't want excess liquid in our salsa. And we'll just let these hang out until we're ready for them. All right, now that we have all of our ingredients prepped and ready to go, we are gonna go ahead and mix it into our bowl. So I will start with our bell pepper. 
Just dump it in there. Doesn't have to be fancy. Our red onion. I'm not going to use all of this red onion because it's a lot more. So I am going to use a quarter. Our jalapeno, our tomatoes. We will go ahead and do our black beans and our corn. And don't worry about breaking those whole kernels up there. We're gonna go ahead and it'll break up when we're mixing it. And our cilantro. And from there, we're gonna go ahead and mix together our dressing. I have uh, measured out, we have an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne, a half a teaspoon of salt, and a tablespoon of each cumin and garlic powder. I have a quarter cup of cayenne, and I cut two limes, but we're really looking for a quarter cup of juice. So if you have a really juicy lime, maybe just three halves, or we'll go ahead and put our olive oil and our spices. Give that a little whisk. The reason we're doing it in a separate bowl is because we don't want to have a piece of our salsa that has like all cayenne in it. So if you mix it in a separate bowl, kind of as a dressing, like I'm calling it, then it's mixed and then it will evenly distribute over our salsa. So we're gonna go ahead and squeeze our lime. And we're going to just pour it over. and give it a good mix. And as you're going through, just kind of give the corn kernels a chop. Go ahead and give this a little taste. Make sure to adjust for seasoning. So after we've mixed everything, we're gonna go ahead and put it into a container and store it in the fridge for a minimum of an hour, preferably overnight if you can wait that long. I don't know, but let it sit for sure so the flavors can melt all together. All right, here it is, our black bean corn salsa. This has been sitting overnight, minimum at an hour um, in the fridge, just so the flavors meld together. Um, this is really good by itself, just to eat like as a side dish with some grilled chicken, or you could eat it with tortilla chips. Of course, that's always great. Um, but you can also put it on top of tacos or enchiladas. Your options are limitless, guys, on this. Have fun, enjoy, and let me know what you think. Hey guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If not, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. Uh, if you tried the recipe, let me know if you liked it. Uh, put in comments below if you added certain things or you, you know, omitted things. It's up to your liking. If you don't like anything, leave it out. Uh, it's totally up for whatever your preferences are. Go ahead and follow me on my other social sites here and hit my subscribe button to follow me on my future videos. See you later.